Eyewitness News continues covering the economy now. Yesterday's job fair at Twin River generated an overwhelming response. More than 2,000 people showed up to apply. As Rhode Island continues to struggle to lower its unemployment rate, we wanted to know how many of the facility's new jobs will actually go to Rhode Islanders. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Estefan joins us now with the details live from the mobile newsroom. Well, that's right, Susan. That is the big question. Twin River has begun to screen candidates for the more than 350 new jobs that they will have. We asked that question. How many of those jobs will be given to Rhode Islanders? The Twin River job fair on Wednesday was packed. Thousands of people looking for work. The casino will hire 350 new employees when they add gaming tables to the floor. A little over 2,000 people attended the job fair, which technically started at 1, but we actually opened the doors about noon and we ended at 7 p.m. Patty Doyle, spokeswoman for Twin River, tells us that most of the applicants at Wednesday's job fair were from Rhode Island. We advertise first and foremost in Rhode Island for this job fair and uh, we'll, we'll go through the resumes, you know, in the coming weeks and months. And Though being from the state does not guarantee you a job, we have learned that the casino's track record is to hire within the borders. Out of 900 current employees, we are told 800 are from the Ocean State. We hire many more Rhode Islanders than we do of people from out, out of state or neighboring states. But well, we can tell you, Doyle tells us they do anticipate to begin training those new employees sometime in the spring. With the Mobile Newsroom, Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.